Now, as we segue to this fight, big card. I'm looking forward to this card. Uh, you have three championship bouts, the first of which uh, is is my favorite, and that is Pyotr Jan versus my guy, Aljamain Sterling, trained out here in Long Island with the Wyoming mm-hmm. camp. Very familiar with those guys. Aljamain also being of Jamaican background. He, he's my guy, man. I've been, been supporting him since, uh, since I came to know about him. Jan is a champion. Coming yep. off of a uh, brutal, brutal um, beating of, of Jose Aldo. I thought they should have stopped that fight way earlier. But I agree. You know, um, that's that's neither here nor there. What do you think Al Jermaine needs to do to walk out of there the champion this weekend? Man, well, Aldo's on a roll. Like, his his last fight was yeah. a, a win over Corey Sanhagen, who I think very highly of. Um, and he made it look relatively easy. Mm-hmm. And I think that there is a, a path to success if he tries to replicate that in the sense that if you're a grappler like Aljo and you're, you're unconventional like he is, you know, his nickname is the Funk Master yeah, because he's right. kind of funky. Yeah. Um, in the early portion of the fight, everyone's dry. And so when you try to get into the grappling and you take someone down, it's a lot harder to get out of things mm-hmm. when you're not sweating, mm-hmm. right? And so that's that's actually what, was part of the problem for, for Corey. He got him down early and he was able to do his thing on the ground and Corey was unable to get out. Mm-hmm. Um, the knock on Jan, if you want to say there is a knock on him, is that he hasn't fought a grappler as good as Aljo. Gotcha. And I do believe that to be true. I just think that Jan is really, really, really good. Yeah. Um, and he's an incredible striker. He's got power. These Russians, man, he's got power. these Russians are unflappable, yeah, right? Like yeah. they are just... They are beasts. Yeah. So this is going to be tough. You know, there was once, uh, you know, a knock on Aljo that he didn't like to get hit. Mm. And, I, and I think that he would admit that as well. He didn't like the idea of getting hit. But then he got brutally knocked out by a guy named Marlon That Marlon was scary, Rice. man, when he got stretched it out, man. That was yep. a tough one to watch, man. But it actually, I think, uh, was a blessing in disguise for him because I think it took the pressure away from the what if. Mm -hmm. And he's just like, all right, so it happened. You know, it it happened. I experienced it. And I think he's actually become a better fighter as a result of that. So I think he's he's okay with, you know, staying in the pocket with him. I think he's okay. I think he's going to try to get this fight to the ground and do his thing over there. Um, And I think of the three title fights, this is the toughest one to call. But ultimately, I'm, I'm leaning towards the champ, who's a slight, slight favorite, just because Jan is just so damn tough and so good. But I would not be shocked at all if Aljo pulls this one off. Interesting, interesting. Um, the second one, uh, the great Amanda Nunez taking on Anderson here. Is there uh, any chance for Anderson here? Or is, is this a Nunez in a row? Tough one, tough one. I mean, uh, her best shot is to get a, a big shot in early. Mm. Um, if this fight goes the distance, I just don't see how Megan is able to pull this off. Mm-hmm. Um, the problem is this fight is a 145-pound fight. There's just not a lot of talent at 145, so people are getting rushed into title fights too soon in their mm. careers. Amanda's been doing this for so long. She's, in most people's eyes, the greatest female fighter of all time. It, it's just, uh, it's a little too soon, I think, for Megan Anderson, who is looking good as of late, but is still, I think, evolving as an MMA fighter. So she's a big underdog. Last I checked, she was like a plus 700. Mm. This would be one of the biggest upsets in the history of the sport if she's able to pull it off. But I just don't know where she wins this fight. Nunes, I think, is the bit, the better striker. She's the better grappler. Unless Megan catches her with a big shot, which could happen in this sport. We've mm. seen it before. Yeah, yeah. Just don't see it happening. Got it. Got it. Uh, last one, the main event. We got the last airbender, Israel Adesanya, checking in against uh, Blackowitz. What, what do you think about this fight tonight? I'm this excited. is a huge one. Um, Izzy's trying to make history. First guy to hold the 185 and 205 title. There have only been four fighters in the history of the sport to hold two titles at the same time. He's the 185 champion moving up to 205. Mm-hmm. Um, Jan doesn't get the respect that he deserves because he won the belt but he didn't have to beat John Jones who had been the champion right. there for so long. Right. But this guy is really, really tough. I think we're going to learn a lot um, at the weigh-ins on Friday because mm-hmm. the fight is at a 205 fight. Is he saying that he's going to come in weighing at around 193, which is mm-hmm. absurd. We've never seen someone come in that light for a 205 fight, mm-hmm. but he has the right mentality. He's like, look, I fight better at this weight. Yeah. I fight around this way when I fight at 185. I'm quicker, I'm lighter. This is where I perform best. Why would I add all this muscle, all this weight just because I have to? Sometimes the smaller guy, the quicker guy ends up winning. So Mm -hmm. I like the fact that he's not steering away from what got him here. Uh, Ultimately, I'm going with Izzy because I just think he's an incredible generational talent who uh, is actually only getting better over time. And I'd actually argue that he's one of the best athletes in the world today, like from a a talent Mm -hmm. and from a resume standpoint, this Mm -hmm. guy, is 20 and 0 as a MMA fighter, 75 and 5 
as a kickboxer wow. and five and one as a pro boxer. You do the math. That's a hundred <laughs> pro wins. <laughs> yeah, By yeah. the way, 48 amateur kickboxing wins as well. Damn. The guy is incredible. And he's only 31. Yeah. And he, yeah. It's not like he's done this, you know, for, it's, it's crazy to me. Anderson Silva, who for the longest time mm. was the greatest middleweight in, in the UFC and champion mm. for so long, he made his UFC debut when he was 31. Wow. Izzy's fighting in his 10th UFC fight and he's 31. Oh, yeah. So think about how much more he can do, how much yeah. greater he can get. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I, I will side with Izzy on this one. I think he's just too quick and, and too good on the, on the feet. He's impressive, man. And after this fight, if he makes it through, you mentioned John Jones. Yes. He's been my favorite fighter of all time to me since I've been watching UFC. I consider myself, I'm a very casual UFC fan. I don't know all the fighters like that, but the the, the good ones, I follow most of the good fights. And to me, since I've been watching, he's the best person I've ever seen, John Jones. Yeah, he's, uh, listen, I agree with you if you look at just the, um, just the activity in the cage, mm-hmm. just the resume, the people he's defeated, um, the way in which he beat them, all that stuff. The one problem I have are the PED the infractions. PDs, the PEDs. Yeah. It seems like that's the only thing that has derailed them. You got DC, man. I, I always want to see them, <laughs> you know, knuckle up all the time. I but know. It's just. The, it seems like the PEDs have just ruined them. That's that's just been the, that's the one knock. You know, he has that cloud hanging over him. So then, when you compare him to the other guys who are in that discussion, yeah. GSP. Um, never tested positive. Yeah. Uh, Habib never tested positive, never failed the drug test. Anderson did twice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. there's a knock on him as well. Um, Demetrius Johnson never tested positive. So yeah. if you don't believe in that stuff and you're just saying, okay, forget about all that. Just talk about what he did in the cage. Yeah. He is the greatest of all time. If you do believe in that stuff, yeah, I don't know how you could give it to him because these other guys didn't, didn't do that. They yeah. didn't get caught or they just never did it. Do you see this dream bout between uh, Adesanya and Jones happening if if Izzy uh, makes it makes it past Blackowitz? At this point, I don't see the path to it because Jones has moved up to heavyweight, mm-hmm. and they've already said that he's going to fight the winner of the Francis Ngannou Stipe Miocic title fight on mm-hmm. March 27. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I guess crazy things can happen where one guy gets injured and Izzy wins, and and they change plans. But right now there really isn't a path to it because just by Izzy winning this 205 belt, which he held for almost a decade, doesn't mean he's going to fight Jones next. So let's say Jones fights. It could happen, but I don't see it happening before 2022, basically just, but if you just look at all the pieces and, and even Izzy told me he's going to go back down to 185 after this fight anyway. So I would love for it to happen. I actually think it should have happened now. Like yeah, I think this yeah. should have, I think this weekend we should be watching Jones versus yeah. Izzy. I think they they're saying, "Oh, we'll do it in the future." You never know what's going to happen yeah, in the right, future. Right, like you right. got to strike while the iron's hot. Right. But, you know, so it could be one of those great what if fights that mm-hmm. we never see. But, you know, if it does happen, I don't think it happens in 21. Yeah. I hope we see it, man. That would be a dream fight. It would be incredible, game. man. Like they could sell out any stadium in the world. They yeah. could go to they could go to football stadiums. They could they could that that's one of the biggest greatest fights that they could put on yeah. and what's great about it is they freaking hate each other those guys like they <laughs> right, hate right, each other right. and and what's better yeah. than that like in the fight game you love that right yeah. like no the trash like, talk would be amplified yeah. it'd be great it's man. great it, it it's would great. be great 